the KMNN studios, this is the Kids Morning News Network. Good morning. It's January 5th, 2024, the very first Friday of 2024. That's pretty cool. There are 361 days left in the year. Wait, hang on a sec. Don't years have 365 days? So if it's the 5th, we're five days into the year, shouldn't we have 360 days left? Most of the time, yes, but 2024 is a leap year. I can hear you asking, what's a leap year? Or maybe you're not, maybe you know already, but a leap year is a year that has an extra day. So instead of 365 days, it has 366. It happens every four years and the extra day is always February 29th. Usually February only has 28 days. Why do we have leap years? Well, well, that's because people made up clocks and calendars, but nature doesn't follow them. Or to put it another way, A year in nature is just a little bit longer than 365 days that last exactly 24 hours each. It's more like 365 and a quarter days. So to make up for it, we take all those quarter days at once as an extra day every leap year. But that's not exactly right either. So every now and then a leap second is added to the universal clock. But even that's not exactly right. All this correcting actually adds up to too much extra time. So every 100 years, we have to skip the leap year. Don't add the extra day, except we skip that part every 400 years, I think. I don't know anyone old enough to tell me if that actually happens or not. But anyway, none of that fixes the biggest question of all. What if your birthday is February 29th? After four years, you turn one? And after eight years, you turn two? You start kindergarten after 20 years? Well, I guess that could happen, but to avoid that, most people born on February 29th celebrate their birthdays on February 28th, which happens every year, I think. In the news this morning, for the first time in history, the video game Tetris has been beaten. Thirteen-year-old Willis Gibson got to level 157 in Tetris, and then the game crashed. He broke it, kind of. Or at the very least, he played so long that the game couldn't keep up. So congratulations, Willis. You are the world's first Tetris champion. In other news, it's National Whipped Cream Day. Now there's a holiday most of us will love. People have been enjoying whipped cream since at least the 1600s. Back then it was called milk snow or snow milk, and people whipped it up with branches. Oh, they didn't have blenders yet, or electricity. I'm sure it was still delicious, once you got past the leaves. Time for today's riddle. We're doing the riddle battle from The Hobbit between Bilbo and Gollum. Yesterday was Bilbo's. A box without hinges, key, or lid, yet golden treasure inside is hid. That's an appropriate one for the morning. Common breakfast food, an egg. All right, and finally for our Friday riddle, the one that Gollum thought would be the end of Bilbo. Can you figure it out? This thing all things devours. Birds, beasts, trees, flowers, gnaws iron, bites steel, grinds hard stones to meal. Slays king, ruins town, and beats High Mountain down. What is it? Well, you'll have all weekend to think about it. I'll tell you on Monday. Ah? Huh? Off the coast of Massachusetts, south of the island of Martha's Vineyard, a new wind farm began generating power this week. It's called Vineyard Wind. That almost rhymes. And it's only the second big offshore wind farm in the whole country. It's called a wind farm, but it doesn't really grow wind. Instead, it's a bunch of windmills placed in the ocean floor, and their blades reach up into the sky where they catch the wind and generate electricity. It's more of an electricity farm, really. Right now, Vineyard Wind has only one windmill, or turbine they call it, but the plan is to have 62. And when that happens, it will be able to generate enough electricity to power 400,000 homes, all from the wind. 
And they plan to have it finished by the end of this year. Pretty cool. Literally. Cool. Because it's windy. Time for the weather. And yes, there will be wind today. The weather. Holy mackerel. Lots of weather this morning. Is that true? It's the same amount of weather as always, I guess. Sunny days are still weather. But today... Not so much for the sunny days in some places. There's snow moving east out of the northern Rockies into the Great Plains, and there's rain in the south. Tomorrow, all that weather is going to meet up somewhere in the northeast, and it could be a whopper of a storm, so stay tuned. Further west, there's rain around Seattle and fog around San Francisco Bay, so everything is just the way it should be. That's the kind of weather they have a lot in those places. All right, that's it for the first week of 2024. Thanks for listening. I'll be back Monday. This is Alex, signing off. (music) 